Hello everybody, my name is Alan from Cyber Lab, and today will be another video about Docker Container. In this video specifically, I'm going to show how you can install Daku Wiki. And before you start to ask why I'm going to install this Daku Wiki in my server, I will explain. I like to create a lot of uh, tutorials and I like to create step by step how I can install it or how can I do some configuration or put some information. In this way, this Daku allowed you to create basic Wikipedia and you can search some keywords, you can search where you save and you can create an interact website which you can only put your ideas and sort everything in an easy way. This can create a closed website that only few people have access or you can open for everyone to see what you are writing. So in this way, everything became simple. So if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're going to show in this video. But first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to do any installation, first thing that we're gonna do is open the website for the Kowik and try to see how they look like. So if you guys come here my screen, here is the website for the Kowik where they say that's better, simple and an easy way to do a Wikipedia. If you come here in sitemap, you have different links and if you go look like OK, supposedly, you have how to do the installation step by step and you can search it, you can look how it looks like. And you're gonna say okay the guy did it this way you can have other ways to do so in this case this is my wiki what i start to do i create a folder called sober lab open media Val applications media open media Val. and in this way i have how to do or how to install mb and i create it in this such a way that uh, i know step by step how to do the installation how to load the repository how i can configure it and continue on. Here I only remove this information because I didn't want you guys to see all my pages that I have, but I'll always be able to come here in the site or reconfigure it. And I have different plugs install it only to make my view a little bit more customized for my needs. And this one is really good when you start to have a lot of how to do guides and instead of you have a notebook, write one by one and try to know what it's required for my installation. I only have everything in the same place. Have this one in mind. Now we can start to do the installation. So if I come here, the image that we're gonna install will be this one, Linux server, Daco Week. And you're gonna ask why you want to install this image because this image is quite active. So it has been updated six hours ago and has been over 10 millions of download. So it's quite interesting to keep this because of the cost and update and it's quite uh, secure in my point of view. Here they will like, start to explain how you need to install, what you need to know about this one. What is more interesting will be this architecture. This means that uh, this application have support for 64 or 86 bits, normal process ADM, and you have ARM64. So it means that it will work quite well in free tier option for our cloud, what will have the ARM system and that uh, would just run. If I come here a little bit lower, I can see that it should do the installation. You need to open your IP, your port, and in the end put install PHP. So have this one in mind before you start to look and say, I did something wrong, don't work. Now they will give two options to install. The first one will be the Docker Compose and the second one will be the Docker Click. In the case that you don't have Portainer and you don't want to install Portainer, don't worry about it. What you can do, you can only run the Docker click. But as I like to run Portainer, so I'll come here in my Portainer and I will come here in Stack. Here in Stack, I'll create a new stack only for this installation. I'll come here and paste this information. As you already saw, I'm already running a Docker wiki. So in this way, I need to remove and change this Docker container to put Sauber Lab, only to avoid that it will not have any conflict with my previous installation. And here I'll, and here will define the name. After this one, I will define my PYD. So PYD will be 26 and my PJD will be 100. 
here I need to put my time zone. In my case, my time zone will be this one. You need to put your specific time zone for your location. Here will be my path. Because I'm using a Synology NAS, my path will be slash volume one slash docker slash slash week. And here it's my volume. All right, use a port eight for other applications. So we'll put port eight four. And here I will put 54. I can put any other port, but make sure that the port that you're using will not have any conflict with any other application. Otherwise, when you put run or deploy the stack, they will not work. So in my case, I did this configuration, I will put deployed stack. Now my Wix Sauber lab has been completed. If I come here in my container, I have my contain and they say that's running. So in this way, I can click my IP address. So now they will show this page. And because I didn't properly install, I can start to modify it. But as a standard, it will give as an open option and no user, no admin, nothing is allowed in this moment. So what I suggest, if you come here, they told you to use slash installation. So we're going to use it. I come back in my Daku and I put here slash installation dot PHP and put enter. Now I can do the first configuration. So now we'll populate everything that I need here. And once that I put all my information, I can decide if I want to have an open wiki. It means that uh, everyone can read, everyone can upload, everyone can rewrite everything. If I want to put a public wiki, it means that everyone can read, but if you want to write anything or upload anything, you need to be registered to user. And if I put close, no one can read, no one can write, unless have a user there. So in my case, I want to have a close wiki. And here I will not uh, accept this option because I don't want that uh, any user try to register themselves. Otherwise, what's the point to be close? So in this way, I can come here and put save. Once that you put save and your installation has been complete, you're going to see this page that we can install. And now this wikinstall.php has been deleted. And if I come here, new Daku wiki, now they will ask me to do login. So I'll put my password again, and I put remember, and I put login. I have my first page. This first page, I cannot modify, and I cannot delete. I need to have this one. So if I come here in my sitemap, I have some pages that I cannot modify. So now I can start to create more pages. So Instead of leave week, let's say that I want to be Sauberlab to dot OMV. If I put enter, they will say that this page don't exist. Why well, I have a folder called Sauberlab to dot, and that's a page called OMV. So if I come here and create a page, I can edit anything that I want. I can put save. And now if I come here in my sitemap, I have Sauberlab, and inside this Sauberlab, I have a page called OMV. And here, if I keep editing and save, I can see all the histories and how much characters has been added for each revision. If I come here back in the top and put admin, what I can do, I can add some extra extensions. So I can come here and add extensions. I can modify the extensions. Those are the ones that has been installed already. If I want to install a new template, I can install here. If I want to search something else, I can come here and search, they will give all the new extensions, what I can only install. And in this way, I can make my template a little bit customized. In my case, I install some extension to like a little bit different. But if you don't want to do this, you can install a black template. You can install a monochromatic template and continue on. Only thing that you need to do is install. And that's it. So in this way, we arrive in the end of this video. I hope that you guys like this video. If you like, please don't forget to leave a like. Consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed. And see you next time. Bye.